Hey everybody, what's up and welcome back to today's video guys. And today guys, I'm going to go ahead and be showing you how to remove effects in GarageBand. This is a very simple thing to do, so make sure to watch this quick and easy video to the very end and follow my steps correctly, so you can make sure this works the same for you and you can do this yourself. But yeah guys, let's get straight into it. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and open up the official GarageBand application on your mobile phone if you have not already. If you do not have the application, just go to the App Store and download it. And after opening it up, you'll be greeted by this main page right here, which is the home page where you can find all the instruments you can play, you have your audio recorder and so on. So let's go ahead and see how we can remove any effects we want from our music. The first thing I'm going to do guys is open up edit mode. So you can open up any of the instruments you have right here, it doesn't matter. I'm going to open up the audio recorder and it's going to open up this new recording menu where at the top of the screen we have the recording button that we can use for recording. And if we click right here in the upper left corner, click on edit mode, it's going to open up this mixing mode where we can find all the tracks that we have as you can see right here and then we can get started editing so guys let's say that you have some audio effects that you have added and that are on the tracks right here this is how you can minimize them or remove them basically what we are going to be using is the sliders option right here at the top of the screen when clicking the sliders it's going to open up your track settings right here and as you can see once you scroll down you have your options such as plugins and equalizer master effects and so on so what you can do is open up the plugins and equalizer let's say you want to remove noise you can use the noise gate right here to get your desired sound effect or if you've added some options directly from GarageBand you can turn them off right here such as reducing the echo or increasing it the reverb and so on you can reduce the bass and so on anything you might want to do you can find right here and you also have the FX button that's going to enable you to use the visual effects right here and manage your effects options as well to get your desired effect but basically guys that is what you can try to do to get and reduce any effects that you have in your music but I hope this video was helpful if it was make sure to leave a like subscribe to the channel so you guys think for watching, take care and bye.